one of the areas of solar products that I've not looked at is the portable USB solar panel charger. So I ordered this one. And the Chotec 19 watt panel comes with a micro USB to USB A cable, the panel itself, and uh, just a couple of bits of paper, some basic instructions, and a warranty card. And this particular panel has magnets to keep it closed, and uh, once you remove the protective wrapping, there are three panels. And on the rear of the item is where we find this sort of net bag, some more silica gel and the uh, USB ports which are there. Two USB ports with no LED in the middle to suggest they're working. And this panel claims uh, 19 watts which is 3 amps apparently at 5 volts, although that maths doesn't quite work out for me. Now I could take it outside and attach a USB power monitor here and show you whether it can achieve 3 amps and sustain that 5 volts, but that's not what I plan to do. Now these panels are usually advertised with images such as this, with this panel hanging off the back of somebody's bike as they cycle through the mountains, or while they camp next to an idyllic river, and uh, the panels placed in this interesting triangular format, which must mean one of the panels is actually facing the floor. Hiking up a mountain range with your panel clipped to your rucksack, charging your mobile phone as you walk. But I'm not convinced that this method of using the panel is all that useful. I don't think you'll get a useful charge into your device by hooking it to your back or placing it into one of those pyramid triangular shapes and covering half the panels. No, I think you'll get far better results if you leave your panel back at your tent connected to a power bank and charge your power bank throughout the day and then charge your mobile phone when you get home again after a day's activities. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up my solar panel outside in the garden. We've got a reasonable day here for the 2nd of September in the north of England. We've got some bright sun first thing this morning and then it is going to cloud over a little bit. But that's what you can expect when you go camping, can't you? A little bit of rain, a little bit of sun and uh, probably a fair bit of cloud. So there we have the panel lashed to a chair as if it was connected to my tent and underneath I do have a power monitor and uh, hopefully you can see that it's doing 5.25 volts with no load on and here is my power bank which I'm going to charge up and uh, just one LED illuminated there I have drained this to the point where it switched off so uh, that's it, let's plug it in, which might be difficult with just one hand, and uh, see what happens. So there the, uh, the power bank is plugged in, and it is suggesting it is charging. The light is now flashing, and the power monitor says 4.8 volts, and... 900 milliamps 4.8 watts well that's definitely going to charge it a little bit and there we have it so i'm just going to leave this all day and see how much charge i can get into that power bank so the panel is pretty much in full sun and dead on axis let's imagine my morning hike has finished and i've come back to get changed I don't know, into my canoeing gear. Well, that power bank there is showing a third segment flashing, so it's over half charged. And according to the porter power meter, 5 volts, 2.35 amps going in, just under 12 watts. But most importantly, perhaps we can just see there, 6.75 amp hours of power has gone into that power bank over the last um, three and a half hours 
34 watt hours has gone into that power bank so uh, it's looking like that power bank might be fully charged by the end of the day and it's also looking like the BBC got the forecast wrong because it's lovely well I'm back to my imaginary tent from my imaginary rock climbing expedition or whatever I said I was doing this afternoon and uh, there we can see the power bank is still flashing still charging just that last segment there so uh, it does suggest it's over 75 percent full let's go look at the numbers on the porta power in the shed so in my imaginary camping expedition how did the chotec perform well i think it did surprisingly well much better than i imagined i connected my 10,000 milliamp hour power bank to it and left it all day while i was out having fun and uh, according to the port power here i delivered 9226 milliamp hours into the power bank 9.2 amp hours and that equates to um, 46 watt hours in just a little bit over six hours so i'm really impressed with that it did far better than i ever thought it would so that makes me question my previous assumption that these things don't work very well if tied to your rucksack or you're only using one of the three panels when you sat next to your idyllic river having your lunch but perhaps that tests for another day so if you're heading out on a camping trip even in the north of england on a september day these things really do generate some power and by putting that power into a power bank well i can charge up my phone and i've calculated the amount of energy we've put into here even with some losses I'm going to be able to charge my mobile phone at least twice, if not three times, from this power bank from this one day of sun. So what can I say? These things really do work better than I thought they did. And this one, the Chotec 19 watt USB solar charger, seems to do the job just fine. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.